everyone. Hey, how are you? Hope you have a great day. So today I'm going to show you how you can add the countdown timer to your product page like this. So I have a product here, which is a laptop, and it is having a sale of $500. And the sale ends in eight hours, seven minutes, and 33 seconds. And you can see that we have the sales ends in here. This is the, the counter timer. And this is the sale bar. It says seven out uh, six, seven, six out seven products have already sold. And another thing is this is this bar. It is similar to this, but together with this uh, card out here and this sale bar here, it creates a real urgency for the customer to buy the product now to secure the $500 discount. So if you want to add these elements to your store, keep watching. So we need to install a plugin to display the countdown timer on the product page like that. That plugin is called Yeast Product Countdown, which you can find in the description of this video. So after activating the plugin, you see that there's a menu here, and I click on Product Countdown. Here is the place you can configure the display, the look and feel of the countdown and the sale bar. So the first thing you need to do is to, to enable the product countdown. If you don't do this, you will not see anything on the product page. So I check this and also I select type both timer and sale bar. So this is the timer. This is the sale bar. And you can display both of them or just one of them. I prefer to display both of them. And the next there is the position where you want to display the sales bar and the cutout. I want to display it as many places as possible. So I select the first option. But you can display that on the categories only or on the product page, product detail page only. Or you may want to use a widget or short code. That is up to you. So for example, I want to display on the product detail page only. I select this option and save changes. Go back to the this product page. I really love that. You see that this is the product page. And sure enough, you see all the countout and the sale bar here. But if I go to the category, Click on laptop here and we see that there isn't any anything here this bar below is another thing now we'll talk about this very soon but if I go back here and select the first option click on save changes go back here reload this is the category page and you see that the product now has a countout and a sale bar here so uh, another important thing that the behavior on expiration or sold out. So after the product is sold out or the offer past the expiration date, what do you want to do? So there are three options here. Choose one that suits you the most. I select the last option here. And the rest, I leave them as default. And then I click on save changes. Okay, so click on the next step to add some customization. You see that you have the option to change the text. Like that. The change doesn't reflect here, but if I go to the product page, you can see that the text has changed. So that's good. The next is there are three styles for you to select from. So you can select one of three. I select the third style because I think this looks good. And down below, you can see that there are options for you to 
adjust the font size and color and whatnot. I let you explore this yourself. Now I click on save changes. The next thing is the top and bottom color bar, which is this one. Okay, uh, this this red bar. Okay, so I click here, and you can see that you need to enable this box to see this bar. If I uncheck that, save changes, reload this page, and you see the bar has gone. So similar to the customization tab, I will let you explore the options here. They are very easy to understand. Now the next thing is to actually configure the offer for the product. So for example, I want to configure a sales offer for this single product. So I go to this product in my products here, all products, and edit this one. This is the one that is currently has an, an offer. Click on edit. The first thing you need to do is to set an offer. So you must have a sales price. Then you need to set sale price dates. You may leave the start date blank, but you need to set an end date here. So uh, I set it to this date. Next, go to product countdown. This tab is not available if you don't have this plugin activated. Click on here. You need to enable this. Check this box. Okay. And countdown dates similar to this one. You set a date for start and end date. You can leave the start date blank. And select the end date this should be exactly as this one okay so next here you can configure the number of discounted products and the number of product has already sold in case you don't have a plan to limit the number of discounted products i would recommend you leave it blank because there is a small problem that I'm going to show you in a few moments. So it looks good. Now I click on update here and go to the product page. I reload this. You can see that everything works as they should be. Okay, so let me show you one problem. Here we have six products. Oh, we're here we have seven products six already sold now if you add one product to cart there will be no problem everything works and you see that here the card display one item $2,500 that's great but what if I remove this one and instead of adding one I have, I have two products click on add card so you see that here the product is added to cart but there's one problem here one item but five thousand dollars if you click on view cart here you can see that everything is okay again so that is why i recommended you not to set a limit on how many products are available for discounted price if possible of course one last thing before i finish this tutorial is with the plugin you can set the timer for many products not just one okay so we click on work operations here you can see that you can assign uh, a cutoff timer to a selection of products there is a search box here you can type to enter the products in Or you can assign the timer to a category or to all recent products or assign to all sales products or all features products. Obviously this feature can have you assign cutoff timer to many products at once instead of going through 
every single product. Well, I guess that concludes our video. Hopefully, it will make a lot more sales using this technique. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.